Good afternoon. Can everyone hear me okay? Let me just do a sound test. Good afternoon. Can everyone hear me okay? Good, that seems to be working. We'll just um, let some people join. Just give it a couple of minutes. Hi, Clario. Great. Thanks for letting me know you can hear me. That's good. Cassandra, thanks. Yuko, thanks as well. That's great. Thanks for letting me know. So we'll just give people a couple of minutes to, to roll in, get their cups of tea, their lunch, whatever they need to do before they join us. <clears throat> uh, so please guys, when you're after this, uh, let me know if this kind of format works for you. It's something that we're trying a little bit different um, this time and just kind of really quick lunchtime uh, presentations. Uh, really simple, uh, we're gonna focus on, on one topic and just do it really quickly and do a little bit of a Q and A afterwards and um, just during lunchtime. Um, so yeah, let me know if this format works for you or if there's anything um, that we can change. Okay, just before I get started, um, hit us up on uh, Facebook. There's our Facebook um, URL down the bottom, uh, WP Sydney. And we've also got a um, Twitter account there. Uh, we use the hashtag, um, hash WP Sid. Um, also, if you want to use the, the hashtag uh, WP Quickies as well, um, that'd be great. We can reply to some of your stuff there. And also our, our YouTube, which is what you're watching here. I'm going to stream that. And this will be recorded, so you can play it back uh, later on. More importantly, is our Slack channel. Um, so if you haven't um, used Slack before, and that's basically where all of us WordPress uh, developers and designers and community hang out. Um, I'll give you a little bit more details at the end, but you can sign up for it at the URL below at uh, wpaustralia.org slash Slack. And I'll tell you how to sign up and get an account, a free account, so you can log into the uh, wpshow.slack.com community. Okay, we've got some people watching now, which is great. Mr. Miatus, <laughs> I love that username. It's so good. <clears throat> okay, so hi everyone, and welcome to the very first WP Quickies. Um, so really, the idea behind this is I wanted to create something really quick, really simple um, for WordPress, a, a simple topic that we can focus on and explore just really quickly in a short amount of time. So we'll still have the regular WordPress Sydney meetups um, online um, at the end of the month, and you're the, kind of the big, longer versions of this. But I just really want to slim it down, choose little topics, um, and just kind of go from there. Just that little tidbit um, to help you um, improve your site experience for, for your visitors. So the format is super simple. Um, I basically share the information really, really quickly. Maybe do some demos, and then we'll just open up the Q&A at the end. Um, so the first one today is on top bar notifications. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so here's what we're going to look at um, today. Um, we're going to learn like, what a top bar notification is and, and what it can be used for, uh, some free examples, um, and maybe look at some of the paid examples as well. Um, so let's, let's have a look. What is a top bar notification? Well, it's usually a, a site-wide header um, that goes at the top of the, the website um, across the whole site, so every single page. 
Um, it's usually full length, uh, usually just one single line across the top. Um, and it's often kind of uh, brightly colored just to make it stand out and make it more, more visible. Um, so what can they be used for? Um, well, traditionally, um, top bar areas or notification areas um, are used for notification. So perhaps um, things like alerts, um, traditionally it's been used for if a site has, um, it's going to be down for maintenance, like an e-commerce site. People will display a banner across the top to say the site will be down between uh, midnight and 3 a.m. on Saturday, blah, blah, blah. Um, like a broadcast notification across the entire site. Everyone who's in a different places um, in the site, um, they can see that, that notification. That's generally where it started off from, um, but people are starting to use it in a lot more different ways now. Um, so different things it can be used for. Um, a lot of people are using them for special offers. So if you log into an e-commerce website, um, you might see they've got a promotion going for, for May or for seasonal promotions, 10% uh, discount, 50% discount, things like that. So a lot of people are using it for these type of offers to grab people's attention, to encourage them uh, to shop more, to buy more, and to connect more with you. Discount codes I mentioned, and that's a popular one. Um, so as well as um, advertising seasonal offers, you might want to offer some discount codes. Um, we'll maybe have a look at that a little bit uh, later uh, as to what the, the admin bars can do, the top bar here. Um, another common thing I've seen from the top bar notifications is using um, shipping. So to let people know that there's free shipping um, or there's free shipping on orders over a certain amount of money. That can entice people to just put them over that limit to, to say, oh, well, if it's free shipping, yeah, I'm, I'm going to grab this, 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 and that. So definitely uh, free shipping works for a lot of e-commerce uh, websites. Um, other things you can use this for is to create a sense of urgency. Um, so for example, a countdown timer. If you arrive on a particular page and it's got a notification bar, it says, well, this offer is only available for and the countdown. And maybe it's like five minutes or three minutes. And again, it's just a psychological trick to entice people um, to open oh, an urgency. I've got to get this before before it goes. Um, so certainly I've seen top bar notification areas use countdown up quite a lot um, over the past uh, year, year and a bit. Um, and along with that, um, uh, I've seen use of a uh, like a lead um, magnet area. So as well as countdown, something, an offer enticing people. So um, sign up here to, or click here and download the free ebook, uh, free white paper. Um, if you um, sign up for this newsletter, then you know, we, you'll send a free course online. So definitely um, call to action lead magnets um, work very, very well as, as a top bar notification area. Um, other things as well, uh, promoting events. So I know we're kind of all in lockdown just now, and uh, kind of it's gradually easing across Australia. Um, but yeah, if you want to advertise at the upcoming event, um, then a top bar notification can be really, really uh, good for that because it grabs everyone's attention um, site wide. So just think about using that. And uh, you can use the online uh, meetup. It doesn't have to be just your regular um, meetup event in person. Um, I kind of touched on it a little bit with the call to action, but the caption emails as well, they're really, really good for caption emails because they stand out against the, the content of your of your website. So you want to start catching uh, leads and put a little um, lead magnet in, in there and then have a space for the email address and you know just use that to capture some emails as, as you go along. And it can be used for a lot more things. Uh, please be very, very creative. Those are just kind of the the standard list that I've seen people uh, using over the past uh, year and then I do myself for my own website and my own customers as well. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at some, some demos. So I'm gonna just get one of my tabs open, share my screen and let's see. And it's not coming up. Oh, lovely. I might have to share my whole screen. I was trying to select the window, but it doesn't seem to let me share this window. Okay. Let me 
close that down. I'm actually using Microsoft Edge in the Chromium browser. Let's see if it picks up when I restarted that. Share screen. Oh my goodness, your browser has blocked your screen. Click the screen icon in your address bar. Okay. Share the screen. And get rid of that. Let's try that again. Select the window. Yes. There we go. Never give up. <laughs> Never give up. Sorry about that. Technical stuff. So let's just make that full size. So there are three plugins that I wanted to go through today with you, just to show you um, what can be done. Uh, to get that WordPress notification bar. And so three plugins and one other solution. And actually, let's jump to the other solution first. The other solution is Cloudflare. Um, if you don't know what Cloudflare is, it's a, a CDN, a content delivery network. The whole idea is there's servers throughout the, the, the planet and they cache part of your website, popular sites, and they give them to um, people who are browsing your, your website closer to them. So that whole idea is it serves content quicker. But as well as that, because they cache your website, you can also um, add things onto your website, kind of, kind of in real time. Um, and this is one of them here. So if you go into the app section of Cloudflare, and this is if you're already running your website through Cloudflare, um, you can get this, uh, these uh, free apps and paid apps. And one is called Welcome Bar. And, and it's the same thing. It's a top, uh, top notification bar area. You can get it for free. So it's a free one. It's also a, a paid one. So let's um, go here, Cloudflare slash app Welcome Bar. And let me just put that down in the comments. You can click on Preview. And the great thing about this is you can actually preview websites. So here I've got one of my websites, um, WP Wingman. Just give it a few seconds to, to load in. So here we go, that's one of my websites here. And Chrysler is giving you a, a demonstration of what it's gonna look like if you use this system. So along the top here, you can see there's a top bar there, and this is the free, the free one. So you can add any message in. So made a offers. Um, you can show an action button or not. You can just have it off up there with the discount code. Um, but I like to use it as a button. Um, get it now. And of course, you can put a URL for that. I'll just put in a like that. Com. Offer something like that. I can open a new window. You can also show or disable the close button, um, and um, you can change the styles and colors um, to be, you know, whatever you want. If you want to make it stand out, I put a little bit more, let's go hot pink, yeah, go for that. Um, that looks good against the green. And so it's very, very simple. Um, there's not a lot of customization there. And again, this is going to be site-wide, so across your entire uh, website uh, on every page. And that, that's just what you get from this particular app. There is a paid version, and we'll go into the paid version a little bit later. Um, so we'll skip that for just now. And I want to go back into um, the plugin. So we're going to be looking at three plugins today. The first one is uh, this one here. I'll drop that URL into the comment. So this one's called WP uh, WordPress Notification Bar. Sorry. It's by C Prod, and those guys make the coming soon plugin, which allows you to put your website in main soon. So it's a reputable company. Uh, but as always, when we look at plugins, installing plugins, we have a look at the, the WordPress.org and the details tab and have a look at the version information at the side. So we can see here, it was last updated one month ago. It's got 7,000 plus active installations. Whatever, which is good. So all that tells us is that it's actively maintained, there's people using it, um, and it's tested up to um, the current version of, of WordPress 5. And a little bit further down, you can see that the ratings are, are given almost uh, five stars. So, so that, that's really, really good. This one here, um, this free version is super basic. 
um, and it does have a paid version. So we'll come back and have a look at the paid version in a second. The next one that I'm going to have a look at is WP notification bars, and there's a, a link in the comments down below. This one uh, got a little bit more settings, a little bit more control as to what you can do with, with the admin bar at the top. This is a free one, plugin only, so there's no paid version to this. So what you see is what you get, and we'll run through a demo of this in a little second. And the last one we're going to look at is the WP front notification bar. And again, there's the URL in the comments below. This one here, again, is just free, so there's no paid option, so it's what you see is what you get. But it's got a few different options, um, which is more than um, a lot more options than, than the other two put together for, for free. So let's jump in and have a quick look at these uh, plugins. The first one was uh, WordPress notification bar. I've got them all loaded in here from the WordPress.org repository into a, a demo WordPress site on my local machine. So let's just go and activate this one. And this is a, a vanilla WordPress installer. nothing else in there, it's just a normal WordPress. So we'll click on activate. Okay, so that's been activated. So let's have a look to see where the settings are. Is it in tools? No. Is it in settings? Yes, it's down there. Notification bar. Okay, so here we can see, and this is more pretty common for the notification bars, that they won't show in your WordPress admin dashboard, but they will show on the settings page for the plugin, just to give you an idea as to what it's going to look like um, site wise. So the first thing we want to do is enable it. So let's, sorry, let's have a look at the front end. First, so there's the front end of the website. Oh, that was some cached from earlier. So there's no admin bar there. So let's go in the settings and enable it quickly and just save changes. Okay, it goes to save. I'll go to the front end and just refresh it. There's my bar there, is there? Okay, so that's been enabled and just very, very simple. There's not a lot of settings for this one. Um, so a simple message. Uh, Mayday offers 10% uh, site wide. Um, the button will get it, and the button link. Uh, you can open it in a new window. And again, you can have it sticky or you can have it scroll with you. Um, personally, I'm not too keen on sticky uh, notification bar unless it's like a really urgent message I want to get across to, to all my clients. So I usually leave the, the sticky part off and just let it scroll up and down the site. And again, you can select for any color you like. Let's go for the hot pink again. And save changes. So again, it's giving you a little bit of uh, a preview up here. Um, and we jump on the front end of the website, do a quick refresh, and here it is here. Now, that's all the styling that the plugin allows you to do. If you want to style anything else, like for example, I've got a pink color background there, but it's still got black black text, then you're going to have to um, use some custom CSS to, to override that and, and to change that for the button as well. And you can easily do that within um, Chrome or Firefox for the inspect element. Um, so you can go here, click on inspect, you know, and, and it will tell you which elements. It's kind of difficult to do that inspect here. Um, which elements, but there it is. Thought, WNB dash bar dash button. So that, that CSS tells you exactly where to go and um, start customizing the colors and, and the background. And you can do that in the customizer. So bring up the customizer. I'm going to crowded. Can I customize? Uh, probably that's not to do that. Um, yeah, if you bring up the customizer, change that particular CSS and just change the background, the button, and the text, for example. Um, but the plugin itself, the settings, you know, it's very limited in the styling that, that allows you to do. So very simple, very quick. If you want a top bar notification, get something out. Um, again, that's probably a really, really good um, choice to do. So let's go back to plugins. So let's disable that and go into the next one. So deactivate that one. We will activate WP notification bars. We'll just clear the cache on the front. Oops, not that one. All right. So this one here is not in settings. It's got its own um, admin section called notification bar. So let's have a look at this one. Um, so here I've actually created one previously just, just to test 
But this one is really good. It allows you to create multiple uh, notification bars. So, and that's great for if you're having something like seasonal, seasonal offers. So you can set up a spring one, a winter one, um, an Easter one, a Valentine's Day one. Just have them all saved down here so that when it rolls in again the next season, you just enable it and, and put it up. Now, the previous plugin didn't allow you to do that. It's just one, one bar. Um, whereas this one here allows you to save these, these multiple bars. So I really like that option. I think it's great. Let's go and have a look at one just now. So more settings than the last one has. Um, we've got some tabs across the top. Um, so basic options, you can have a, a hide or close button. Um, let's say uh, a close button for that one. You can set the width across, make it full width, it does it automatically. Um, and fixed width or static, which means it stays in the position. I, I like the fixed one, so it scrolls up and down. Uh, let's put some content in. Um, so the link style, we're going to have a button and get it, uh, the link button text, uh, offer now, and the URL, uh, let's do offer. Let's have a look at the style. Again, you can set the different colors. Um, I'm feeling the hot pink, so let's go for a hot pink day today. Um, and again, this one's got actually more options. So you can actually change the color now, which is great. The last plugin, you couldn't change any color for the text. And this one allows you to change that. And the link or the button color as well. Um, let's just go with a horrible green, because that really starts to the case of pink. And you can choose your font size. So this has a really, really good option for being a free plugin. Um, and, and here as well, this is what makes it a lot different from the other plugin. This has got conditions. Now, normally, our uh, admin bar area, you're going to have it across the the entire website across all pages. This uh, plugin here actually allows you to tell you on specific uh, locations only. Um, so you can have multiple item bars, notification bars going on different pages. Um, so you can have it on your home page um, or just on your, your pages or just on your blog posts for that. So it's not called granular, you can't see a specific page, um, but it does give you that option to remove it from site-wide and to allow you to just specify just particular parts of your website, and that, that's just great. So let's put it on the home page just now. Um, also, the other options. Um, so it can track to see if people are coming from a Google search, and you can display a banner if they come directly from Google search, which is fantastic, because most people are doing Google searches, they're kind of ready to buy. They're doing that research mode. So when they land on your landing page, you can offer them an, an incentive with an admin bar, knowing that they've come from a, like a Google search, which is fantastic. And similarly from Facebook as well. So if you're running Facebook ads, um, you can detect if they come from Facebook and say, hey, hi, Facebook user, I've got a special offer for you. Um, so great little options there. Um, let's just keep it uh, not location specific. Uh, not from Facebook, not from Google, on specific location. Let's click on this. OK, so we'll update those. There's an update. So that saves that one notification bar, and you can create multiple ones. And let's have a quick look on the front end. We'll refresh that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Fantastic. Bright purple. Get it. Offer now. Green button. That's just fantastic. I love that. Um, very slim. We've got a close button here, so you can get rid of it, um, which is good to give an option for, for people to get rid of that. Because a lot of people, it might not apply, so just remove that. Um, and carry on browsing the site. So I think that's fantastic. That's really, really good. Um, I think it's a, a great plugin. allows you to create multiple notification bars. You set them up for all your offers, enable them and disable them when you need. So I think that for a free plugin is actually fantastic. So let's deactivate that one. We'll clear the cache on the front there. And we'll go into the last one here that I want to demonstrate, which is the WP front notification bar. And let's find out where that one is. It's in settings again and notification bar. So this one has a whole heap of options as well. Uh, in fact, even more than the previous one, which is great. Again, enable. So let's get that, let's get that one enabled. And um, the position, this one actually allows you to put it on the bottom. Um, I'm not a huge fan of putting sticky things at the bottom, um, but you know, if it works for your site, that's great. But I'm going to keep this one to the top. Again, six positions, sticky or not sticky. I don't like the sticky ones. Um, so I'm going to get rid of Just leave it as a scrolling one. 
um, different options. You can display it on scroll. So if you don't want your top bar to display right away, if you want it to display maybe when you can't clean with your uh, visitor scroll to a particular part of the page, then you can do that here. You can set that there and then just scroll the number of pixels off it. So that when they're scrolling down, maybe they're coming to a service or a product that you have, and then suddenly you get the pop-up bar that will appear. Um, so that's great. I like that option. It's good for free. Uh, simple things here, set the bar height offset. Um, you can display after a number of seconds as well, rather than just bombarding the users. Um, a little animation scroll and display close. Yep, yeah, we'll do that one. And um, also close after a number of seconds. So that could be quite good. And if you just want something quickly to notify your, your visitors and then pop it off again, that could definitely be a great move in there. Display shadow, display reopen, keep close, keep close for X amount of days. So again, if you're finding that you're getting feedback from your visitors that are saying they're really annoying because it's barred on there all the time, um, you can actually keep it closed for maybe a week um, and then only show it to people when they come back and display it after a week, but not within that period. And so that's going to be uh, looking at the cookies and the session that WordPress is installing in the people's browser. So depending on whether they clear the crash or not, and then that thing will work for you. And again, here's the text for the area. Um, special offer today only. Um, this is great. You can put short codes in here. That's fantastic. So if you click on here, you can put a short code. So if you've got a short code that displays like a fancy button or something else, you can whack a short code in here like that. And, and this, this part will display that and render it for you in that message here. That's fantastic. I like that. I display a button, uh, I'll come over here and get a promo code and a URL. I've done that before. So you can open a URL and one in the window and um, set it to no follow if you're bored with that, the search engines. And execute JavaScript. Now that's a really advanced feature. So if you know JavaScript or you've got a bit of JavaScript that does stuff, um, then yeah, you can actually add it in here. I don't know how secure, how good that is, but uh, yeah, I've never seen that option before. Uh, close on click. Okay, so here are some other great options that weren't in the previous plugin. So you can specify a start date between the start date, time, and end. So if you want your pop up bar to only appear on one particular day, at some particular time, go for it here. That's great. I'll let you do that. And here, as, this, as the previous plugin, you can put it on just all pages or a particular landing page um, or um, yeah, so these pages down here, you can select them as to which one it's going to display on. And you can exclude ones as well. So if you want it to display on all pages, except for with that page, you click on there. So that's great having exclusion. Um, and the most advanced part of this plugin is that um, you can actually specify what type of users um, it displays to. So if you've got multiple roles, different types of people engaging with your site, just so you've got a subscription site, um, so you can actually display these notifications just to particular types of people. So maybe people have um, bought a, a gold membership level or just a bronze membership level or students that have um, enrolled in a course, um, then you can just uh, change all that from here. So you can just display all those different options there. So that's really, really good. And again, granular control of, of the color um, of the bar. And this one actually has gradients. Yeah. Interesting. Let's go for a more ready color. Next color, bottom color again. So all, all the good stuff here, which you didn't have in the first plugin, um, but we do in the second plugin here. Um, to just avoid having to do all that, all that CSS. Great. And this actually allows you to custom CSS in the bottom. So let's stop playing around, save that change, have a look at the front website. And there we go. A lovely gradient there, get promo code, it's gonna do all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can close that as well. So those are the few plugins um, that I want to show you. The free plugins, which is fantastic. And just look at the functionality that you get with those plugins for absolutely free as well. So what I wanted to do was uh, just go through some paid options as well. I think the very first one here um, so the plugins that I've shown have been very, very simple, as in it just allows you to display text and a button or text and a link at the top in the notification area. But as I mentioned, there's other ways that people are using this admin um, area. Um, 
for things like countdowns, uh, emails, collections, things like that. So let's have a look at this first plugin. Um, or oh, let's get rid of all these pop-ups. So the first plugin that we showed you, which is the simplest one, it just shows you the notification bar and, and that's it. Well, this paid version, it doesn't cost very much. It's only a few bucks, but we look at the pricing. So for one website, it's $29.60, so that's US bucks, for one year for one website. And look at the very top here. Can you see that? They've got a notification bar there with a, a countdown timer. Flash sale, save 20% off. So that's the sort of thing that you can start using these top buttons for. But this is a great example there. Let's go back and have a look. Um, so for the paid version, you can collect emails. So here, as an example, a green bar with an email um, field in here and subscribe. So you can start collecting emails, which is great. And the one that we've just seen is to create a sense of urgency for so the countdown timer to, to instill people to, to do an action really, really quickly. And with the paid version, you also get all these lots of different options. So social profiles, um, sections, you can create sections, change the, the button position, uh, the display, so you get a lot more control over the colors and typography and things like that. So if that's something you're looking for, if you're looking for that type of countdown timer, um, things like that, then a paid option for this one is a really, really good uh, way to go. And the, the seed pod company is, is a great, reliable company. Um, I've used them on many times for that um, maintenance one. So that's definitely a paid option. And for that one, which is great, get those extra goodies. Now, Cloudflare, um, I did mention they had um, a paid version. So it's $3 a month for the pro one, and it, it basically gives you more customization. So it allows you to have multiple messages, again, to all the different admin bars. Um, it allows you to hide it after a specific date, and allows you to have more themes. I'm not quite sure what that means by, by more themes. Um, I haven't played around with the pro version, but for $3, a month for just that limited amount of, of goodies. I, I don't think that's such a great deal as maybe going for, for the plugin, um, the, the seed plug, plugin upgrade for that. So, I mean, it's up to you guys. Um, but, you know, I, I would probably recommend if a client's coming to me to get that paid seed product, to let them get the counter and the email stuff um, working. I think that's probably a lot more value. So let me just get rid of screen there and let me get the presentation back if it'll allow me. Share my screen. PowerPoint. There we go. Back on track. Okay, so we've done the paid additional features. That's what it was. Um, and yeah, basically that's it, guys. So this is our WP clicking. Quick, quick, quick. Um, so what we've looked at today is the top bar notification, what it can be used for, some free examples, um, a couple of paid options as well. And I'll just leave that. That's, that's me and my details. I'm happy for you guys to hit me up and connect with me. Um, whatever you want to do with that, that would be great. Um, okay. Um, we'll do some questions. Just quickly, just five minutes for some questions. Because this is meant to be a WP quickie. Um, just quickly. All right. So let's have a look. Uh, right. Clario. Uh, how does it know whether the users come from Facebook or Google, and does that happen in the box? Well, Google and Facebook, they've got all the tracking cookies. Um, so whenever um, um, you move from outside Google or outside Facebook to somewhere else, um, Google and Facebook and if a lot of other companies, they'll actually just whack a particular cookie that says a referrer URL. And that's what these plugins are, are looking at. So they'll look for a specific cookie um, that Google drops or Facebook drops, and um, if they find that, um, then they'll know that um, the, that person has come from, from Facebook or, or Google, and then they'll display that admin bar for those. That's a great question. So if happen at the box, yes, that's, that's inside that plugin. So you don't have to configure anything at all. Mr. Miyakus, the paid team I use, Calium, comes with a top bar built in, which is good. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. Um, I think you'll find a lot of these uh, themes now, uh, you get a whole heap of stuff in them. It's like you, know, you get the kitchen sink for, for some of these plugins. So that's great. If yours comes with that built in, that's the theme Calium. Um, and that's great. That's got it built in. Um, does that one give you uh, countdown timers and email subscriptions, Mr. Miyakus? Let, let me know if that one does. 
Oh, you haven't used it yet. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you can use it and just get back to it some other time. That'd be good. Bob, you keep coming up with great me up. <laughs> Don't worry. My pleasure. I'm stuck here at home, so I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> Not just. Yeah, my pleasure. Do you like the format, the online format? It does make it easier to attend. Uh, we've had international people as well, which is great. Um, what do you guys, let me know what you guys think about this particular lunchtime format. If it suits you guys for this time, um, for this quickness level, um, please let, let me know in the comments below or send us a, uh, an email as well. And um, that'd be great, to, or a tweet or a Facebook uh, comment. Just let us know if this format works for you, if this time slot works for you. If not, I can maybe adjust that. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for today. Except I wanted to just go back into Slack again, because a, a lot of times we find that people, people um, don't understand or can't get in contact with it. Um, so us as a work opportunity, especially the, the developers and the UI people, um, we all kind of hang around on Slack. So we've always got Slack open in the app or in a tab in our browser. So if you really want to connect with us offline from these meetups, then I really would suggest you get into that WordPress, um, australia.slack.com. Um, and you know, just browse around there. In fact, let, let me just, I've got it open just now. Let me just see if I can share that, just to let you guys know, or just have a quick look as to what it's about. And see what it is. is it gonna let me do that? Slack is not coming up. Okay, let me open up Slack and I'll close it down. Here we go. So we're using StreamYard here for our online meetups. This is the free version. It's pretty good, but it does have a few, a few little quirks. So sometimes it doesn't recognize the screens and stuff that comes up, but that's okay. It's all good. Share screen. Okay, let's see. Does it? No, it's not that. That's a shame. Let me just share my entire screen, and I'll just open that up. How many people have you got doing? Twenty watching just now, so you guys are still there. That's great. So let me just uh, do a current screen. We do that. There we go. That's better. So I use an app, the Slack app, just now. But you can get the same app just to go to uh, wpsshow.slack.com. Um, but if you haven't seen Slack before, this is it. It did actually go down yesterday for about half an hour, but everyone was in a panic. There's no one could chat to each other. We're all going, oh my goodness. I'm just checking to see if you guys can see that. Okay. No, I don't think it's showing that just now. Um, so I've got my YouTube open on my iPad. So let me just have a quick, I've got a few seconds lag. But hopefully that is sharing the screen. Can you guys see Slack? I don't think you can. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Sorry about that. It's not kind of working just now. I'm not quite sure why, but let's just... Uh, I wish it would work. I'll get one more go. This is making that tricky. Let's see, is it coming up? Slack, Slack. Are you there? Are you there? You are. Yay! Okay. I think we're on. Can you guys see that? I just Looking at the, the YouTube. Yep, that looks good. That looks good there. Okay. So this is Slack. Um, I've got a lot of different Slack groups down the side here. Um, as you can see, that's not doing the entire screen, is it? There we go. That's better. Okay, now we can see. And so there's lots of different channels. Um, so there's a WP Sydney channel here. If you just want to connect with the, the Sydney people, um, you can have a look at this one here. Um, connect people, chat away, if you just want to chat to the Sydney community. Otherwise, there's a general meetups channel here. Um, so any of the meetups across Australia, um, I'm just gonna get rid of that banner. So any of the meetups across Australia, just go in there, connect with the guys. They'll tell you when they're broadcasting online, etc. And um, so the Perth, the Melbourne, the Brisbane, all, all, the, all the different people there, um, have a look in there. 
Um, but there's also things like if you're just um, got some questions about Gutenberg, you can go on Gutenberg channel. Um, there's a channel for plugins there as well. So you can see uh, if you've got any problem with plugins, ask people in that particular context, which is great. Um, there's also a support channel. So if you've got a problem with a particular um, um, issue with WordPress, you can just go on this um, support channel here, type in your question, and you know, people, if they've got an answer, you know, they'll, they'll type in, give you some support. There's a general one there, if you just want to generally talk with people, have a chat, and, and keep in contact. Um, you can use that one there. Um, and if you're looking for a WordPress job, um, we've got a jobs channel as well that you can browse and just have a look through and see what people um, see what people are looking for. Um, so every so often you'll get some jobs come up, some big ones, some small ones, and um, well worth um, trying that that one out. So yeah, have a look at Slack, connect with us in the community. Um, and that'd be great. Because I took my ugly mug on just now. So again, to join that particular Slack group, you've actually got to go to wpaustralia.org slash Slack, and, and that'll give you all the credentials that you need um, in order to log into that particular thing. So let's see. Cool, great format. You like the format there, that's good. Um, thanks, Paul. Um, great, okay. Um, that's it. It was a little bit longer than I intended. I was gonna try and get to it in half an hour. Um, I'll try better next time. Maybe less of the waffle for me. Um, but thank you guys very much for turning up. Um, hopefully that's given you a little bit of um, WordPress tidbits on the extra to explore um, and add on to your website. And again, yeah, send me, um, let me know um, what topics uh, you maybe like me to discuss in WP Quickies. Um, and yeah, so I'll try and set up another one for, for next week, maybe the same time if you guys like that. So again, thank you very much, guys. That's me. I'm going to sign off and I'll catch you next time.